Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how to solve this simple math problem. So the question is, a car goes 20 miles in 15 minutes. What is the speed of the car? And uh, we want to express the speed of the car in terms of miles per hour. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, a car goes 20 miles in 15 minutes. What is the car speed in terms of miles per hour? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct uh, solution here is 80 miles per hour. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. If you're like, I missed you too, math man. I'm uh, very confused. This seems so easy, but I got the wrong answer. Well, don't despair. I'm actually going to show you two approaches to solving this problem. One approach will involve kind of like common sense, and then the other approach will involve a very, very important formula. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And in any math word problem, okay, you want to get in the habit of reading the problem at least three times. Just don't read the problem once and start doing stuff. That is a uh, surefire uh, recipe for disaster. Read the problem once real quick, get a sense of what's going on, read it again to get more details, and then the third time, at a minimum, Make sure you understand what the question is. Just go to the question mark and back up from there. So what is the car speed? Okay, I'm looking for how fast this car is going, and I'm giving some information about how fast or uh, how much it traveled over a certain period of time. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a common sense approach uh, to figure this out. Now, hopefully most of you uh, thought of it in this uh, particular manner, and I never said in the beginning of the video that you had to uh, you know, write all this out in terms of a formula and whatnot, as long as you got the right answer and you can kind of justify it. But here is a good kind of um, way to look at the problem. Okay, so in any math word problem, you want to model what's going on. There's all different uh, sorts of ways to do that, but you know, a good way to do this particular problem is to just kind of come up with a quick sketch. So here is our lovely car. It's uh, speeding down the highway, and it covered 20 miles in 15 minutes. Well, I uh, did indicate that we wanted our answer in miles per hour, okay, miles per hour. For example, okay, 60 miles per hour means what? What does that mean? If you are traveling 60 miles per hour, it means that you're going to cover uh, 60 miles in one hour, okay, per one hour. That's what this means. Matter of fact, 60 miles per hour, you could write that miles per hour this way. Miles, I'll write it like so, per one hour, okay? Now, typically, we won't write uh, the speed or speed of a car or something like that. We write it this way, 60 miles per hour, okay? So, again, if you uh, went 60 miles in one hour, how fast are you going? Well, 60 miles per hour. So here we are um, dealing with 15 minutes. Okay, so hopefully some of you are saying, well, 15 minutes. Well, how much, you know, if this continued on, if this car, uh, you know, um, went 20 miles in 15 minutes, well, how much would it go in 30 minutes? Well, we just doubled this, right? It would go 40 miles. Well, then, all right. So if we just multiply this by four, we're going to get to 60 minutes, which is one hour. So I multiply this by four, that's 80 miles, right? So hopefully most of you kind of, you know, looked at that way you said, or looked at the problem this way. It's all right, well, 60 minutes uh, in one uh, hour or 60 minutes, the car will have traveled 80 miles, okay? Now, if you didn't see this, uh, no big deal, but this is kind of, again, kind of a common sense approach because we're dealing with nice, easy numbers. Matter of fact, a lot of you probably were able to solve this without even the aid of a calculator. Okay, so in 60 minutes, the car will go tr uh, 80 miles. So if you cover 80 miles in 60 minutes, well, that is what? Well, that's 80 miles per one hour because 60 minutes is one hour. So the vehicle is going 80 miles per hour. All right. So again, this is kind of the common sense approach. And, you know, uh, kind of a uh, this particular way also probably makes a lot more sense once you understand 
this particular formula that, that I'm going to show you. And uh, it's something that, again, uh, even if you got this problem right, you're going to want to stick around and make sure you understand. Okay, so let's go and take a look at that. But before we look at this formula, I want you to get, well, here is the formula, but let me go ahead and just show you my request for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that notification button. This right here really helps grow my uh, kind of classroom, if you will. It really does help. And again, my objective is to get as many people that are interested in math or need help in mathematics or want math explained in a clear and understandable way into my virtual classroom. So by you subscribing, it really does help me out. Thank you so much. Now back to the problem. All right, so here is this formula that you're going to want to know. This is an extremely important uh, formula. Uh, it's used in math, it's used in science, but uh, here it is. Let me go ahead and explain this to you, all right? So it's R times T is equal to D. You can kind of see it this way, RT is equal to D, or R times T is equal to D. Okay, so what is this R, T, and D? Well, let me go ahead and explain this to you right now. All right, so R is the rate, okay? Rate just means speed, okay? Now, uh, in this particular problem, I said that we want to answer our question about the car's speed in miles per hour. So what's our, what's some examples of, uh, you know, rate? Another word for rate, by the way, is uh, speed or velocity, okay? So like, let's suppose like a rocket is flying, you know, uh, through uh, space or whatnot. It might be going, you know, certain meters per second, miles per second. So, you know, uh, anything like that uh, where you have distance compared to time, miles per hour, is going to be a unit of measure for speed, okay? All right, so... How about time? Well, that's pretty straightforward, right? That would be seconds, minutes, hours. Uh, then distance, uh, here I have miles. Now, we kind of have to we have to kind of talk about units of measure here. This is really, really important. So if you take the if you know the rate of something and how much time, how fast something is going, and you multiply it by how long it's been going in terms of time, you'll get the distance. But there's a bit of a twist here, and we have to be very careful with the units of measure. Okay, so this is the next part of me explaining, uh, you know, how this particular formula works. All right, so let's suppose that we want our rate in miles per hour, okay, or we were given our speed about uh, a vehicle or whatever in miles per hour. Well, if that's the case, our distance is in miles, okay, because we have miles right here, okay? So our distance, we have to have this distance expressed in this formula in terms of mile, if miles if our rate is given to us as miles per hour. And our time must be in hours, okay? So if we're talking about 75 miles per hour, we're talking about miles and we're talking about hours. So if we don't have our time expressed in hours, we have to convert the time to hours. If we don't have the distance expressed in miles, let's suppose it's in feet, we would have to convert those feet into miles, okay? So to use this formula, you gotta make sure that the units of measure match. Now, it's not only this formula, but many formulas that you will use in science and mathematics. This is a big, big deal. And now let's go ahead and apply this formula. All right, so here is the uh, uh, problem again. So a car goes 20 miles in 15 minutes. What is the car's speed in miles per hour? Well, I have my information here, miles, okay, so I have 20 miles, that's good, but uh, the time information is in minutes, so I have a bit of a problem, but nothing that I can't fix. So I'm thinking about rate times time is equal to distance. What am I looking for? I'm looking for how fast the vehicle's going, right? What is the car's speed? So the unknown value in this equation is the rate. I don't know that but I do know the time, it's in 15 minutes, and I also know the distance, that's 20 miles, and I want my speed uh, in miles per hour, okay? So right here, I have my time in minutes. I'm going to have to convert minutes to hours. All right, let's go and take a look at how to do that. So what we wanna do is multiply 15 minutes by what we call a conversion factor. So 15 minutes is gonna be multiplied by the conversion factor one hour per 60 minutes, okay? Now it could write uh, this uh, equivalency or this conversion factor 
as 60 minutes per one hour. That's perfectly fine, but we don't want to use this one. We want to use this one, one hour over 60 minutes, not 60 minutes over one hour, because what we're going to be doing here is multiplying a fraction times another fraction. And the obje uh, uh, basically what we want to do, the object here, uh, the objective is to cross cancel the minutes. Okay, so this minute right up here, this unit of measure is in the numerator. I can cross cancel this with this minute down here in the denominator. And that leaves me with just hours. Okay, so I'm going from 15 minutes, or sorry, 50, yes, 15 minutes, I get rid of the minutes and I'm going to be left with hours, but it's going to be 15 times 1 over 60. Okay, so 15 times 1 over 60 is the same thing as 15 over 60. And I can reduce this down, of course, to the fraction 1 fourth hours. Okay, so 1 fourth of an hour is 15 minutes. Now, most of you would be like, yes, I knew that. But when it comes to converting units of measure, um, oftentimes I um, see a lot of students that think they know it, uh, know how to do this better than they actually do. And again, this is a pretty simple problem, and it's definitely a skill that you need to know. All right, so now that we have our time in hours, okay, or converted to hours, we can put this all together. All right, so now here is the problem. We're looking for the rate, right, or the speed of the car. Our time is 15 minutes, but we need, again, we want our rate in miles per hour, our time now is expressed in hours and we do have our distance in miles so we are ready to go here with this formula all right so rate times time is equal to distance so uh, we're looking for rate right that is the speed the time is one fourth of an hour okay i don't need to uh, kind of put in the units of measure right now because i already kind of took care of that so that's uh, the time is one fourth. That's equal to 20 miles. So I'm going to be solving this basic algebra equation right here. R times one fourth is equal to 20. Now in algebra, we don't uh, write our variables, you know, something like this 2x. We don't write it at x2, right? So you can just kind of flip flop these. Uh, so we'll put the coefficient, the one fourth, in front of the R. And now we need to solve this basic formula, which is super easy to solve. All right, so let's go take a look at what we need to do. So we have 1 fourth R is equal to 20. So to solve for, uh, for R, all we have to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 4, and we get uh, R is equal to 80. Okay, but 80 what? Well, 80 miles per hour because 20 is miles and 1 fourth is in hours. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.